Good morning, folks. That was the top solar eruption of the last day. Beautiful, but we'll miss our planet by a pretty good margin. Top story in science should have Dr. Robitaille smiling, as the bicep results may be a total error. Given his groundbreaking speeches at the March conference, it would behoove those other scientists to relook at everything coming out of Kirchhoff's law. I fear many of them have not even seen his work on the matter. It is no secret that the Gulf Stream and other Atlantic currents are not doing so well. They have not stopped, as some have suggested, but they are much weaker, and the latest data signals that it is completely natural and unforced by greenhouse gas emissions, contradicting the widely publicized guesses by the experts preceding the study. While we were showing the Micronesia rumbles in yesterday's news, a six-pointer was hitting the Philippines during the upload. Also have strong rumbles in the southwest Pacific. Then we come to Hubble's latest, the Great Red Spot, shrinking even more. Remember Red Jr. showed up and how the planet lost a stripe? Just another one of the meteorological and energetic changes from star out past Saturn that dwarf anything we see in earthly climate change. First weather warning. I don't like the look there coming across Mexico. We'll eye this area for tropical storm development over the next day or two. Then, we're back in the southwest Pacific watching two convergences drawn up from Antarctic lows one already crested onto Western Australia as seen in the precipitable water overlay, the other is moments away from the South Island of New Zealand. Same two lows are the story in Europe, one in the southeast and another northwest of the UK, south of Iceland. The southeastern low has caused about a dozen flood events even into the central portions of the continent. The Atlantic convergence is not in a big hurry to fully come ashore. Lowest watch zone today is indeed the west. There will be rain and some storms across about half of the U.S. and Canada, but the strongest should be limited to the east there. Swift detected another gamma burst last night, third in a row to come three days after the last one. Still no M-class solar flares, and the sunspots aren't very encouraging. There remains gamma and delta potential at the departing limb where Earth's magnetic connection to the sun is hanging on, Interestingly, she's sharing that connection point with Mars, right on top of it. The incoming spots that had a chance to complex didn't. They're magnetically spread apart, and it's tough to expect any bigger flares today either. The sensitive electron flux and magnetometer are taking short dives this morning as slight density bumps are seen in the telemetry, still waiting for the coronal hole stream speed. Meanwhile, the next opening is in an Earth-facing position down south, but lost about 40% of the outward force of the solar wind to its northern portion compared to what we had previously seen. Otherwise, calm day on the sun, current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.45 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.